great, you guys. Hey, it's been 19 days since the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii first erupted, and it still continues to spew fiery lava and gas into the air. The latest concern is the plume of toxic fumes forming over the Pacific Ocean as lava reacts with seawater. Now, joining me to talk about this impact uh, is Lindsay Shanebaum, an associate uh, producer, sorry, associate professor, you can tell him in TV, associate professor of earth sciences at U of T Mississauga. Lindsay, thank you so much for being here. So let's start with the volcano itself. Why is it erupting now? Well, it's actually been erupting um, for the last 150,000 years. It's erupting quite often, right? Okay. Um, but we just happened to catch a transition from an effusive phase where it's just these sort of runny lava flows that are coming out uh, to an explosive phase. Right, and w w what usually causes the explosive phase to, to occur? It's just Yeah, shifting? it happens, uh, yeah, exactly, it's shifting of the magma. There's a plumbing system underground that connects everything. So this magma has been leaking out in the lower east rift zone, right? So that's near the Puna geothermal venture in this Leilani neighborhood. And as it leaks out there, it's actually been draining from the caldera at the summit, the crater at the summit. And then groundwater can seep in above the magma and it turns to steam, right? right. But sometimes that steam gets trapped. What happens is the, the walls sort of collapse in on top of it. They block it. Um, and then that steam pressure builds up and it explodes out the top. Like a very big tea kettle. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. Um, now, with, with the immediate threats, you know, with this, would obviously the thing is that we'd be most worried about would be the lava. But the gases are something mm -hmm, else mm -hmm. that people really need to think about. So what would we need to know about these gas clouds, clouds that are uh, form forming over the Pacific right now? Yeah, there's actually a bunch of stuff in the air. So there's this laze. Laze is lava haze. And that's forming where lava is entering the ocean. That's actually hydrochloric acid that's in the air. Okay, now what would, where, where else would we see hydrochloric acid? Um, well, let's see. Uh, I mean, it's an acid that's used in lots of stuff. For right. me, I use it, I, we have little droppers as geologists, and we put it on rocks to see if they fizz, oh, for okay. example. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's not good to breathe, obviously, but most of that's happening over the ocean, so it's not a big deal unless you're close. Um, there's also uh, sulfur dioxide that gets released from both the crater at the summit and from the sides, and that can mix with stuff in the atmosphere, and it becomes VOG, so that's volcanic gases plus fog, mm -hmm. VOG. Um, All of these can, can pose health risks, though. Yes, they blow exactly, over if you land. breathe them. And then the other big thing is ash. So that's little particles of rock that gets flown, uh, thrown into the air. And that can go way up into the atmosphere and travel a bit farther, disrupt aviation. Um, is there... Uh is, is there something that, you know, Canadians, is this something that could affect us? Is this something that could affect the weather? You know, we've seen mm -hmm. this we've seen that before with bigger volcanoes and that sort oh, of thing. That's true, exactly. This is actually a relatively small eruption on the scale of volcanic eruptions, so it's not likely to affect us here in Canada. It's going to affect anyone who travels to Hawaii, of course. Right, okay. Hey, thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Lindsay Chauvin from the uh, Associate Professor, not Producer, of Earth Sciences of U of T Mississauga. It's a, it's a fascinating, fascinating mm -hmm. subject, and thankfully no injuries yet.